India's uh, leadership is very important because we are a, a very large nation and a growing economy. We are fulfilling the Paris promises probably much quicker than what we promised. India was instrumental in bringing uh, the African nations into the G20. We must understand uh, when we try to change the way we live, that is the global population. When we are trying to change the way we live, the way we energize the nations, the way we improve our economies, it's not going to happen overnight. This is how human beings function. First we think of something, then we talk, then we invest our emotions into one or two things, the residual aspects, <laughs> the reminders rather. We agree, we disagree, and somewhere a few things we will work to implement. Unfortunately, this is the nature of things when we try to do something on a global level. So this is an effort. COP is not an absolute solution, this is an effort to bring both awareness and action. Awareness is rather easy today because we have global reach on uh, technology platforms, but action needs many things. There are political issues, there are geopolitical issues, there are economic issues. There is economic disparity, massive disparity between one society and another. So, this is talking time, trying to shift the narrative, trying to push towards action. Fortunately, India is fulfilling uh, whatever promises we've made at Paris and we're moving in that direction, it's good. So I was going to ask you, how do you see the role of India when it comes to, you know, tackling with climatic change? We heard Prime Minister during the last uh, summit when he said uh, about the punishment. So, how do you see Prime Minister's leadership in this? I think it's very important, especially in COP28, because uh, many of the top global leaders are missing for whatever reasons. So, uh, India's uh, leadership is very important because we are a, a very large nation and a growing economy, fastest growing economy among the committee of nations. And uh, above all, as I said earlier, we are fulfilling the Paris promises probably much quicker than what we promised, probably sooner than what we promised. So, we are heading in the direction which uh, gives us a certain leadership and also, as you know, that India was instrumental in bringing uh, the African nations into the G20, which had never happened before. So, giving a voice to all the African nations is also a big thing because Africa could be a big growth story in the next uh, 50 years. So when that is the case, India and Africa coming together as uh, ecologically aware nations is very, very important. Because uh, rich nations who have gotten used to a certain kind of lifestyle may be very difficult to change them. It's the growing nations which can easily make this. This may not sound fair to a lot of people, but that's the way it is working, I think. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.